Hello and welcome to another video on orbital mechanics. I'm going through the book Orbital Mechanics for Engineering Students by Howard D. Curtis, 4th edition, and I'm up to problem 3.10. And 3.10 says an Earth orbiting satellite has a period of 14 hours and a per perigee radius of 10,000 kilometers. A what at time t 10 hours after perigee passage determine the radial position, the speed, and the radial component of the velocity. Now this one is a little bit trickier. Um, you need to do some some funky equations. So to start off, we have the the equation t equals two period equals two pi over u squared over h over the square root of one minus e squared all cubed. And we also have the mean anomaly equals mu squared over h cubed, well, one minus e squared three over two t, um, sorry, m e equals two pi over period times time. So this t here can be fed into here to produce this equation. And we are going to rearrange this equation uh, for, for h, because that is going to make our life easier to solve this problem. So h equals the uh, angular velocity, equal, uh, angular momentum, sorry, equals uh, mu squared um, over m e uh, t to the power of a third um, times the square root of 1 minus e squared. So that is that rearranged and we have then taken the cubed root to remove the the cubed component so this is this is nice now and then we're going to bring out this as a constant because we know all these so that's going to become c equals mu squared over m e t to the power of a third and now that we have that constant um we will say h equals c square root of 1 minus e squared but at this point we don't have h and we don't have e so we can't solve that yet so we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to put it into the orbit formula and we're going to put it into the one that is our radius at perigee h squared over mu 1 upon 1 over 1 plus e. And now, so when we put in this into there, we're going to get rp equals c square root 1 minus e squared squared over mu times 1 over 1 plus e. And then that gives us rp equals c squared square root, sorry, upon, upon 1 minus e squared over mu 1 plus e. And now we're going to try and solve for e, because, uh, as this is a quadratic, we're going to make it all equal to 0. And this is going to get a little bit hairy, but basically we end up with 0 equals c squared e squared plus rp mu e plus rp mu minus c squared. Now that is our, our c value. This here is our b value and this is our a value. 
for the quadratic equation. So if we solve that, we're going to get e equals minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And that comes out to be 0 0.6609. Okay, now that you have e, you can get h. And when you have e and h, you can um, you can refer to the previous video on how to use that in the uh, numerical solution. So that, this is the system for deriving our orbit and our eccentricity. But after this, it's the same as 3.09. So I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or you think I've made a mistake, let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.